God bless you. We are bringing the Open the Heavens Daily Devotion and Guide Reflections your way today. My name is Pastor Adia Jai, by the grace of God, the parish pastor of RCCJ Thanksgiving House, based in Chelmsford, Essex, United Kingdom. We are reflecting from the Open Devotional Guide written by Pastor E. Adebe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. And our topic is, You Need Deliverance. And our main Bible passage is taken from Deuteronomy 28, verse 25 to 48. The Lord will cause you to be defeated before your enemies. You shall go out in one way against them and flee seven ways before them. And you shall become troublesome to all the kingdoms of the earth. Your carcasses shall be food for all the birds of the air and the beasts of the earth, and no one shall frighten them away. The Lord will strike you with the boils of Egypt, with tumors, with the scab, and with the itch, from which you cannot be healed. The Lord will strike you with madness and blindness and confusion of heart, and you shall grope at noonday as a blind man grops in darkness. You shall not prosper in your ways. You shall be only oppressed and plundered continually, and no one shall save you. You shall betroth a wife, but another man shall lie with her. You shall build a house, but you shall not dwell in it. You shall plant a vineyard, but shall not gather its grapes. Your ox shall be slaughtered before your eyes, but you shall not eat of it. The donkey shall be violently taken away from before you and shall not be restored to you. Your sheep shall not be given to your enemies, and you shall have no one to rescue them. Your sons and your daughters shall be given to another people, and your eyes shall look and fill with longing for them all day long. And there shall be no strength in your hand. A nation whom you have not known shall eat the fruit of your land and the produce of your labor, and you shall be only oppressed and crushed continually, so you shall be driven mad because of the sight which your eyes see. The law will strike you in the knees and on the legs with severe balls, which cannot be healed. And from the sole of your foot to the top of your head, the law will bring you and the king, which you set over you a nation, which neither you nor your fathers have known. And there you shall serve other gods, wood and stone, and you shall become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword among all nations, where the Lord will drive you. You shall carry much seed out of the field, but gather little in, for the locusts shall consume it. You shall plant vineyards and tend them, but you shall neither drink of the wine nor gather the grapes, for the worms shall eat them. You shall have olive trees throughout all your territory, but you shall not anoint yourself with the oil, for your olives shall drop off. You shall beget sons and daughters, but they shall not be yours, for they shall go into captivity. Locusts shall consume all your trees and the produce of your land. The alien who is among you shall rise higher and higher above you, and you shall come down lower and lower. He shall lend to you, but you shall not lend to him. He shall be the head, and you shall be the tail. Moreover, all these causes shall come upon you and pursue and overtake you until you are destroyed, because you did not obey the voice of the Lord your God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded you. And they shall be upon you for a sign and a wonder and on your descendants forever. Because you did not serve the Lord your God with joy and gladness of heart. For the abundance of everything, therefore you shall serve your enemies whom the Lord will send against you in hunger, in thirst, in nakedness, and in need of everything. And they will put a yoke of iron on your neck until he has destroyed you. Our memory verse. Taken from Isaiah chapter 10 verse 27. It shall come to pass in that day that his body will be taken away from your shoulder and his yoke from your neck and the yoke will be destroyed because of the anointing oil. Our reflections. It is good to be on the Lord's side. The Lord's side it will deliver you from every bondage not 
Those who align themselves with unrighteousness will remain in bondage. Choose to be on the winning side. A key point, when God sets you free, you are free indeed. It's my prayer that the Lord Most High will set you free permanently and you'll be delivered from every form of bondages and afflicted or oppressions in Jesus' name. Until I come your way again, God bless you, God keep you and be with you in Jesus' name. Amen.